God did not bring you to this video by no accident. I want to share with you three tips that will help you be financially free, financially broke through. You came to this video is because you've been praying and you've been asking and you've been wanting a sign from God on a generational curse or a financial breakthrough. In this video, I'm going to show you how and I'm going to show you how I did it. And it's the same step you can do it. Number one. To do this, you must watch this whole video from the beginning to the end because it's going to bless you. And I want to pray for you at the end of this video. Number one, stewardship. A lot of people don't know about stewardship. What I'm going to give you is an example of how I do stewardship. People think that just paying tithes to your church, you will get a hundredfold back true that's not the only way you can do that but here's another step to add on to it or implement this step if you don't have money your time is very valuable as a believer in christ use your time your time people will buy your time is also a gift of stewardship that has god has given you besides resources like money and also um luxury or items this is another resource to be a stewardship and how you could be financially set free and become possibly rich first you got to have stewardship use your time go out and serve go out and see what you can do to the community go out and help somebody go out and give and this is one of the God's secret weapons. This is actually one of Jesus' gifts that he used was serving. He served and people saw it. And people used his servanthood as a testimony to share the gospel. And I want to share that with you. Use your servants, your servicehood to be a testimony to others. You go out there and serve, somebody's gonna mention you. They're gonna say, hey, Brother Reigns, he came out and he helped me. He didn't have to. He came out and gave me his last. I know he didn't, he said he didn't, he gave me his last. He out there and helped me. He gave me a car. He gave me a place to stay. He gave me a home. He gave me a bag of groceries. People is gonna be touched by them using you as a testimony because you know why god is using you so being a steward is number one and what is a steward if you don't know a steward is practicing god's resources that can help you become successful and not just in god's eyes but in your eyes as in breaking generational curses that's what stewardship means that's the number one thing is stewardship if you don't have money to sow a seed, sow your time. Your time is a seed that can be sowed into the kingdom. Go out there and help. Go out there and lead and become a great leader. And if you become a great leader, how to become a great leader first is being real to yourself and real to others. People ain't going to want to follow somebody that's always right. People are going to want to follow somebody that's always real and speak the truth. And if you can implement those things into your life today, you will see a 360. You will break a generational curse. You will break a generational finance curse and you will have a financial breakthrough. Number two, number two, this is really, really good. If you do have money. And you do want to sow a seed, find somebody that God has led you to to sow and not just sow one time. Keep sowing until you see results. Keep praying for them until you see results. Pray until you see results. Sow until you see results. If you see something you sow into somebody or into something or into your church or into your community, whatever God has led you to sow a seed, keep doing it and you will see you will keep planting the seeds and you will see a harvest over a hundred fold that is number two and if you have a little be a cheerful giver that's going into number three be a cheerful giver if you have a little so you cannot say i tried this before i tried to save five dollars next you know i got up to ten dollars next you know i saved to where i got up to three thousand dollars 
And next thing you know, I was I saw my mind say, oh, I got three thousand dollars. Next, you know, I had a flat tire, I had to buy a tire. I had to get brake changes. Next, you know, I just started pinching, pinching off that little pinching off that three thousand. And there was one time I got up to thirty thousand and I started pinching off it by the thousands. I wasn't pinching off of it by little. I was pinching off of it by the thousands pinching pinching oh my mom's car broke down i gotta go help her which is a cheerful giver yes yes but now i am financially able to where i don't have to worry about that because it's going to always be a flow of money me as a christian i'm a six-figure owner i own a company i had another company i sold it now i own another company i own a landscaping business it's a service but i own it i can go out and set my own time this is proof right here, guys. Planet Fitness, guys. I can go work out anytime I want. That's why I have on this extra shirt. This is my workout shirt. But yes, I can go and set my own schedules. I can go to work when I want because I have a team. I have a system. And that number one system was stewardship. That was the number one system. Giving God his first fruit. I'm sorry. Giving God his first fruit and then stewardship. You got to invest in yourself. How to invest in yourself is give your time to somebody. How to invest into yourself, know your worth. How to invest into yourself, pay yourself first out of your nine to five check. Even if it's $10, pay yourself first and then support these other businesses like your cell phone upgrades or or the the mortgage or the electric bill. Pay yourself first, even if you pay yourself a little. That's what a lot of people don't realize. They don't pay themselves first. They always put themselves last. You got to take care of yourself. First of all, health is wealth. And this is the number three. Health is wealth. You got to stay healthy. You got the Holy Spirit that dwells in you. You got to let the Holy Spirit dwell in you. Be comfortable. You got to welcome the Holy Spirit that dwells in you. You got to build the kingdom up inside of you. That's why health is wealth. You can't be lazy. The Bible says it. Lazy is a sin because you're being lazy. In the Bible, Moses and them didn't sit around. They got up and moved. David didn't sit around. He got up and moved. Noah didn't sit around. He didn't want to go what, do what God said. He went the other way. So these people that were in the Bible wasn't lazy. And we're not to be lazy. We ought to get out there and do the work of God by serving people. Your time is valuable. Like resources, like rich and wealthy people, you know what they try to do? They try to buy back their time. They try to buy their time, and some of them do. They buy, they buy their time because time costs. If I can replace my nine to five and get a manager to replace my business, I'm sorry, not my nine to five, but my business that I'm running. Let's say if I'm running a business, you're going to be doing 60, 70 hours a week because you're getting the business off the ground. You're wearing so many hats. But if you can find somebody that can replace you and do it better than you, that is a successful goal right there. Now somebody is doing it better than you. Now they're making 10 times. They're making you 10 times more wealthy because they're doing it better than you. They replaced you. Now you just bought your time. You just bought back 60 hours of your time, probably less because you got to sit there and still uh, work not in the business, but work on top of the business. So let's say you work in three hours a day. You just cut back your time and you using the other whatever 30 hours into family time. Stewardship is number one. Number two, you got to invest in yourself. You got to invest in to yourself. I think that's number three. But number one is stewardship. Number two, you got to give. Number three, you got to invest in yourself. I just hope this touches somebody. Thank you. I'm Brother Reigns. And I just want to share this finance, this finance videos with you guys and how to be testimonies and how to receive God's blessings that he have for you. Uh, please comment whatever you want in the comment section, what you want me to talk about next. I got to get out of here and go do some healthy grocery shopping uh, and go to my house, help my wife, help the kids. Thank you and God bless.